Joining us right now is Gaia Amasinga, who is a PhD, new and notable session speaker today with Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis. Thank you so much for coming in today. You're a panelist today, very important topic that you are addressing at the New and Notable. So can you enlighten us on what it is about? Sure. Well, thank you for having me. So, um, so one of the things that my lab has been interested in is to understand how viruses interact with the host and, and in, in a way that it allows the virus to overcome the uh, immune responses. So one of the things that I'm going to talk about today is, um, so viruses like Ebola virus, um, when you infect, it's able to completely shut down the immune, in an immune responses or immune responses. And so what I'll talk about is a physical basis for some of those processes um, and, and, and um, using extra crystallography and nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. So it tells us how the virus is able to overcome some of the defense mechanisms we have. Speaking in terms of Ebola then, so does this information pertain to the current circumstances. How is that information applied now? Right, so, so, so I'll answer that in two ways. So, so, so one I think is um, um, the current crisis is in part due to the fact that we don't really have a lot of therapeutics and a lot of basic knowledge about the virus. So the work we do is really basic science so that it gives you an idea of what these proteins look like, how they interact. Um, but the second part of that is actually that information is critical for us to um, develop therapeutics, so this information directly feeds into some of our uh, small molecule and inhibitor studies um, that allows us to un, um, identify um, uh, in, uh, uh, antivirals. And that work actually is um, currently funded by a consortium, uh, NIAID, um, NIH consortium, so we are, we're working towards using this information then to translate that into uh, antivirals. So again, there is a greater expanse for this. It's not just focusing on the current crisis with Ebola, which has now calmed down somewhat. Right. Still yeah. there, but. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, so the work actually, we've been doing this for about uh, six or seven years at this point. Um, some of these studies, in fact, the work I'm gonna talk about today um, has been ongoing in my lab for about five years. Um, and and so, so really this, this, this coincided with the outbreak, but that um, uh, we've, been, we've been looking at this in, these uh, questions for, for a while. And I think that highlights the importance of these kinds of problems because um, the lack of basic knowledge really also limits us from, from developing um, therapeutics and countermeasures. So, so in a sense that this directly um, provides us with information we didn't have last year, for example. So there's a lot to use currently, a lot to develop, a lot to grow with. Right. Okay, very important uh, address today that you'll be presenting. So yeah. thank you so much for joining us, Gaia, taking time with us. Oh, you're welcome. It was nice to meet Pleasure you. Pleasure to be here.